So we got in front of this last week. Donald Trump indeed just released his video statement on abortion. The conclusion from last week was that Trump will probably or, or could do something like undercut the left's ext- um, the left calling you an extremist on this. Because right? that's what the left does. Oh, you're an extremist. Okay. So Trump could undercut that by declaring a, a something like a 15-week a ban on abortion. So Dems can't come back and say, oh, you're an extremist when Trump's position is something like 15 weeks, which is where like 90% of everyone agrees on at least that. The other suggestion we had was, was something like setting or laying out, setting forth some, some pro-life policies to undercut the argument that conservatives are only pro-birth. You're not really pro-life, you're pro-birth. You want, you want the babies to be born and then you abandon them. And ideally, this would be centered around the pro-life pregnancy centers that already exist, which currently, by the way, outnumber abortion clinics by four to one. There's four times as many pro-life centers. I'm going to one of them on Thursday to, to speak at. So, so those are, those, I think those are kind of like our working conclusions based off talking about it last week. All right, so here's what he did. Uh, Real quick, before we play, this is four minutes. I'm going to play the whole thing. If you don't like that we're talking about abortion, you better get over that because the Democrats are making this the number one issue. So we're not talking about this because, I don't know, a million babies are aborted every year and it's the greatest genocide that we allow to occur in our... Right? That, that's not... A, that's not, I don't want to be bothered by that topic. If nothing else, from the political perspective, the Democrats are making this their number one issue. So we got to wake up to this or they're going to bludgeon you with this in eight months and the Republicans are going to look around and be like, hey, what happened? As, as women vote for their rights. So even if you don't care about abortion for its own sake, which is a problem, but even if you don't care about abortion for its own sake, you don't want to talk about it anymore. You have to talk about it from this perspective, from the political perspective. So here is what Donald Trump has, has put together. Here is his official abortion stance right now. The party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. What could be more beautiful or better than that? Today, I'm pleased that the Alabama legislature has acted very quickly and passed legislation that preserves the availability of IVF in Alabama. They really did a great and fast job. The Republican Party should always be on the side of the miracle of life and the side of mothers, father, their beautiful babies. And that's what we are. IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. They wanted it ended. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth, and that's exactly what it is. The baby is born, the baby is executed after birth is unacceptable, and almost everyone agrees with that. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. 
Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks or some will have more conservative than others. And that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. You must follow your heart or in many cases, your religion or your faith. Do what's right for your family and do what's right for yourself. Do what's right for your children. Do what's right for our country and vote. So important to vote. At the end of the day, it's all about will of the people. That's where we are right now. And that's what we want, the will of the people. I want to thank the six justices, Chief Justice John Roberts, Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett, and Neil Gorsuch, incredible people, for having the courage to allow this long-term, hard-fought battle to finally end. This 50-year battle over Roe v. Wade took it out of the federal hands and brought it into the hearts, minds, and vote of the people in each state. It was really something. Now it's up to the states to do the right thing. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. You must follow your heart on this issue, but remember, you must also win elections to restore our culture and, in fact, to save our country, which is currently, and very sadly, a nation in decline. Our nation needs help. It needs unity. It needs us all to work closely together. Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, everyone, we have to work together. We have to bring our nation back from the brink, and that's where it is. It's at the brink, and we will. We will do it, I promise you. We will do it. Always go by your heart, but we must win. We have to win. We are a failing nation, but we can be a failing nation no longer. We will make our nation great. We will make our nation greater than ever before. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't wait to find out what you think about that. I cannot wait. <laughs> To find out what you think. 866-95-PATRIOT. So, starts off with the coming out as pro in vitro fertilization. What happened in Alabama made this a thing. Uh, some people, uh, some, some Christians on Twitter have been very outspoken against IVF. And Newsom and, and others have, have taken that to paint you as wicked, horrible, mean people. So that's why he starts off with that. Interesting. Makes the point then that it's the Democrats who are the radical ones. They want, they're the ones who want it up to 40 weeks. They're the ones who are in favor of execution after birth. We'll get to that a little later. But he keeps focusing on that. He keeps bringing it back to that. Concludes the ultimate thing, states' rights. States will determine. Whatever the states to decide goes, and then throws in there the, the exceptions, rape, incest, health, mother, the child, health of the child, health of the mother, uh, health of the child. Uh, it never ends well for the child. Uh, but, he, but what's interesting about that is he, he started off, do you hear what he started off with? What did he say right before on um, four exceptions? Like Ronald Reagan. He said, just like Ronald Reagan. I, so he gave that, that authority that he felt he needed. And then, of course, ending with, we have to win. And based off his calculus, this is the winning stance on abortion politically at the moment. He believes this is what will win. He believes, Donald Trump believes, and you could disagree, obviously, uh, that taking the, the hardcore, extreme pro-life stance is not winning. That's not a winning position to take at the moment. He feels this is the winning stance, and we have to win. What do you think? 866-95-PATRIOT. Trump did not come out with a number. He did not come out with a, uh, I propose, a 15-week ban. He did not talk about coming together as a country and, and finding a number like that. He's talked about that in the past. He didn't do that in the statement. Interesting how even in all that, he spoke against Roe v. Wade. So stood strong that Roe v. Wade is, is awful, even thanking the justices by name. <laughs> okay. So we've got a couple things going on here again. We've got we to gotta try to make sense of it. Note that in my perfect world... In my theocracy, obviously, I would have spoken out much more pro-life. And I will on Thursday when I speak at a pro-life pregnancy center in Missouri. But also, I'm not running for president in 2024. And I, I suppose if you're running for president in 2024 and the Democrats are rabidly pro-abortion at 40 weeks, 
then then this is perhaps the statement to make. And then when he's in office, maybe when he wins, then maybe he can he can move forward uh, uh, harder on the pro life side. I think the goal here, and I don't know if it does it or not, but the goal is to take abortion off the table. It's all the Democrats have. Uh, note this. Uh, we, we, we talked about the article, the interview with, um, I forget his name, but he's, he's Biden's main political strategist guy. And he like never does interviews, but he did this interview and he said, our number one priority is uh, d- preserving democracy. And they're all about democracy, democracy, democracy. That's all you're going to hear, democracy, democracy. The second thing, and this is all else, this is, they have nothing else. They're, they have no other eggs, or all the eggs in this basket, is abortion. There's no third thing for the Democrats. They have no third thing to talk about. It's these two, democracy and abortion. Trump thinks that this takes abortion off the table. And if that's true, they have nothing else. Do you think it takes it off the table? Do you think this will take it off the table? Do you think the Democrats, again, I'm looking at this from a political perspective, do you think the Democrats are looking at this and being like, darn, darn it. Now what do we do?